Hi, and welcome back to another book flip through. I hope that you are enjoying these as much as I love looking through my books. I hope that you're enjoying looking too. Uh, this is another used book that I just purchased uh, through Amazon, through a used book dealer. They have many of them online for a penny with uh, shipping. Um, sometimes you may find that they're a little bit more, but they're still well worth it. This one came with its dust jacket, which is the paper cover on the book. Um, the actual book itself is plain with just some gold writing. And as you can see, this is Donna Cooler's Cross Stitch Christmas. And inside the fly leaf, you can see that the original, if I can get this down there far enough, uh -huh. Let me put it back together and do it this way. The original price on this book was $24.95. So used, these are very good deals. Um, let's see. A lot of coolers, cross stitch Christmas. And as you open it up, there's a little forward and there's information about the book. And it has a copyright. I'm looking for the copyright. Most of these, I think, are between 1994 and 1996. Go back a page. This is a Sterling Chappelle book. Okay, so we'll get right into it. Um, it has beautiful um, artwork in the books. And you can see there's a table of contents and there's actually a lot of content in this book also. It also gives you great decorating ideas, especially shows you what it was like back in the 90s. Um, and here's a couple of stockings all stitched, Santa the reindeer, and then a whole bunch of animals. Or Santa looking at his list. It says, the whole world is a Christmas tree and stars its many candles be, which is beautiful. And it does have instructions in every book so this tells you how to make the stocking this book I have to be a little careful with because the uh, patterns the cross stitch patterns are interspersed um, I'll give you a quick glance that it's a black and red type thing so here you can see there's little ornaments in here to hang on the tree and it does give you the ornament pattern shapes to cut. You can open this because that's just a color chart. But here's the hobby horse and the doll and a teddy bear. And that's framed in an oval frame. And the pattern is right behind it. Sorry, these are a little harder to go through. Um, and there is a pillow with a bunny, but it says Merry Christmas to all in that little ornament. Okay, and here are some birds and ribbons. And cherubs, and these are cherubs over here. One has a little present, and this one, I guess that's just a round gift. Oop, sorry, charts go through these. I don't really like showing books that have the charts interspersed. Okay, and this is definitely a 80s, 90s thing where the sweatshirts are decorated, although it is kind of pretty. And here's a ballerina bunny in an ornament. 
several different poses. And over here it says Rachel. So this is a bunny alphabet, which is in this book, Bunny Ballerina's Alphabet. And again, this is a two-tone pattern. It's black and green. And it gives you the ornament patterns if you wanted to make an ornament out of them. And here, this is showing uh, stockings. And there is a carousel horse pattern here. And over here, it's nutcrackers with Merry Christmas. And down here, I think I showed this in my last video too, there's the nutcracker package tag. And it gives you, just so, you know, even back this long ago, it does tell you the fabrics to use and how big the piece will be. And um, I think most of them give a stitch count too, but I'm not sure. And here it gives you another stocking pattern. And it just says Merry Christmas over here with some plaid fabric. And then you have a couple of geese framed here. And over here is, you see more framed geese with bows and Merry Christmas. And here's more of the charting information. And here you get a mitten pattern. And then here is the like antique carousel pieces done in a afghan and on a pillow with some ann cloth. Trying to get past all the patterns. There are a bunch of patterns in this book. And here are the pet Christmas things that I think I showed also before. The, this is a, another package tag, a flat fold type thing. There's a finger towel, another tag banner, and then a pet stocking. And this book actually gives you the pattern for all the different sizes and tells you, you know, how much one inch square equals. So you can draw it to the appropriate size. This one's cute. This is like a mouse house. This is not a creature with stirring, not even a mouse. And here is a sampler of a house and it has all the little mice living in it, decorating the tree. And then it shows them as small fringed ornaments on the tree. It's got the different mice. There's a little mouse on a hobby horse. And the pattern is right behind it. Oh, patterns, because there's a bunch of different patterns. And here there's, may the sparkle of friendship light up your Christmas. And here's a little picture with Christmas lights and a house and it's mice. That looks like a cat. So that's kind of cute. I think I had that pattern marked because I liked that one. I thought it was cute that my granddaughter would like it. And here is a beautiful colorful nutcracker stocking with glare just for fun. And here is an, a Victorian alphabet with some gold work around it. And it says, let your dreams bring enchantment, magic, and fairy princesses to life. Which is kind of cute. And again, it gives you another stocking pattern. And then all the patterns. The patterns are multiple pages, some of them. And here is a Santa Claus sampler, which is really pretty. It says, May the wonder that is Christmas fill your heart. And that's beautiful. And then there's a bunch of little ornaments over here, a train, a hobby horse, and a doll. 
see if there's anything else. Oh, it has some um, table linen decoration and it shows a Victorian angel, like one of the China doll angel pieces with a pinafore that you could put holly stitching around. And then the back is primarily, oh, that's a pattern, instructions. It shows you how to cross stitch and doing half cross stitches and back stitches. Talks about fabrics. And this gives you inches to millimeters. And my clock chimed. And it talks about enlarging a pattern. So it gives you all kinds of additional information so that you, anyone could work the things in these books. It even shows you how to do corded piping and bias strips and mitering a corner. So all kinds of things, even marking your fabric. And then there's an index in the back. And that's it. And the back cover shows that Santa sampler and talks about the book. And this is Donna Cooler's Cross Stitch Christmas. So I hope you enjoyed that flip through. It's a beautiful book and I look forward to working some of the stitches and until next time thank you for watching thank you for subscribing I always subscribe back so I don't want to miss anything either I uh, if you have any questions or comments or you want to see anything any you know if I went too fast please let me know uh, thank you for joining me have a happy